Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. The best speech to text in Python in 2022, I would say is OpenAI Whisper. In less than three lines of Python code, you could have state of the art, machine learning, state of the art, deep learning model that can do ASR, automatic speech recognition or speech to text. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can have state of the art speech to text using Python in 2022. And let's get started. The first thing is this Google Colab notebook will be in the YouTube description. All you have to do is expand the YouTube description, see the Google Colab notebook, click open it and then you're good to go. But if not, then if you're going to create your own Google Colab notebook, just make sure that you're running GPU. There are two ways to make sure that you're running GPU. One, click runtime and then click change runtime and you can see GPU accelerator. If not, line, run the first line NVIDIA SMI that will give you the configuration of the GPU that you're running. Currently, I've got a Tesla T4, which is most likely what you would get if you're running on Google Colab. Otherwise, you um, also you can check the RAM memory of it where I've got a 16 gig RAM. So we're going to see how to use OpenAI Whisper to do speech to text in Python. The first step is for us to make installation of the library. It's just one line of code, pip install git plus and directly the git repository and I'm installing it in quiet mode. At this point, we have successfully installed the library whisper that will help us do speech to text. Once we have the library installed, which is whisper, then we have to load the library and then we have to also load the model. So we have to load the library and we have to load the model. So import whisper will import whisper library and then whisper.load underscore model, then you can specify the model here. Now, what is the model that you want to specify? And that is quite something that it depends upon what you want to do. So this is the model card. You can see there is like five different types of model, tiny, base, small, medium, large. And you can also see each of these models, how many parameters they have got. If you are not familiar with deep learning models, the larger the number of size of parameters that you have got, the better or more accurate that these models would be. So you can see 39 million parameters, 74 million parameters for base, 244 million parameters for small, 769 million parameters for medium, 1.5 billion parameters for the large model. And you can also see that they have got specifically, they have got special English only model in case if you want English only or if you want multilingual model, you can have multilingual. So tiny.en will give you English only model. Tiny alone will give you multilingual model, which means you can do speech to text for a lot of languages that they have described here in this chart. And what is the RAM VRAM requirement if you're running it on uh, Google Colab? Sorry, if you're running it on GPU. You can see approximately around 1 GB for tiny model. It goes all the way up to 10 gig for the large model and 5 gig for the medium model. And you can also see the improvement in the speed that you would get the relative speed. So if large model is going to take one X, then you can see how much the medium size model would take, how much the small size model would take, how much the base model would take and how much the tiny model would take. So the tiny model would have like 32% or sorry, 32 times more efficiency in terms of the model speed, uh, especially the inference speed compared to the large model. So based on what you want, the accuracy or the speed, you can decide what model that you want to go with. Right now, at this point, I'm going to pick the media model. Also, it is quite important for you to understand what is the type of language that you're going to use and see the word error rate, W-E-R, the word error rate for that particular type of the language and then make a call about which model that you want to pick. Because I'm going to do just English, I'm going to go ahead with medium, which is a 760, I think, a 769 million parameter model. So load the media model. If you want to load something else like tiny, you can just change the line here, tiny or base or whatever, you can change the line here. So at this point, it's going to download the model. You can see that the model is a 1.42 gigabytes model and the model is successfully downloaded into your Google Colab session. Now we are ready to do speech to text. And as you know, for any speech to text, you need an audio file or a speech file that you're going to convert into text. 
for that i'm going to download the audio file from the internet for that i'm just simply using the bash command w get and i'm outputting it in the file name audio.mp3 and then i'm specifying the file here so this comes from uh, this website and uh, this is this is particularly from a movie called batman begins by christopher nolan and it is particularly downloading this particular statement that says criminals thrive on the indulgence of society's understanding i mean as a native english speaker this is quite difficult for me to understand or transcribe let me play this audio for you criminals thrive on the indulgence of society's understanding okay so the same audio is downloaded here using wget and once you download it you can actually see the audio here in the folder and the next thing that you can do is play the same thing just to make sure that it is downloaded fine okay at this point we are ready to go to start our speech to text transcription so we are going to do speech to text transcription and all you have to do is model dot transcribe and then do audio dot mp3 so model dot transcribe audio dot mp3 will give you the result and you can print the particular result the text of the result while you are printing this um, while the model is transcribing you can also get to know what language is this and also finally you can print the text so when i print this like you can see how long it takes i'm transcribing it audio dot mp3 and then the result is printed english criminals thrive on the indulgence of society's understanding now at this point you can stop the video go ahead build your own speech to text project but if you want to know how the model sizes would differ and then that can have an impact let me show you a quick demo what i'm going to do is i'm going to just run the same thing but instead of using a medium model i'm going to use a tiny model i'm going to call it model underscore tiny or i can just simply call it tiny and after i have the tiny model i'm going to use the same audio i'm not going to do anything different i'm going to use the same audio using tiny dot transcribe and when i say try and you can see that it downloaded so fast because the model is very small and when i say tiny dot transcribe you can see um criminals thrive on the contents of society's understanding you can see how the language is different first it didn't understand criminals properly there is an apostrophe s and also on the indulgence of society's understanding so instead of indulgence it says contents so these words where there is either the noise or when the voice drops um the volume goes down the speaker is not quite clear you can see how the smaller size model performs versus the larger size model let us take another example so i'm going to go pick another example from the same movie so you look very fashionable apart from the mud i want to copy the path i want to copy the path here copy the audio path come back here and then i'm going to do the same thing that i just did last time oops yep mud.mp3 when we download it we are going to save it still in the same file name audio.mp3 let's play it oops did it not download let me delete this file just to make sure that this is gone come back here run this once again just to make sure that we are downloading the right file and play it you look very fashionable oh, bad. and you you can see the difference right the first person who spoke spoke an american accent now the person who spoke the spoken british accent and this is michael kane uh, if you do not know so now we are going to do transcription for that first we are going to use the larger model in this case we are going to use the the model that is um, medium model so it says you look very fashionable apart from the man um ideally it is supposed to be apart from the mud but it says apart from the man let's see what a tiny model does it says you look very fashionable oh pretty much so you can see the last word was like the only one letter was the mistake in the previous model but here you can see oh pretty much so you can see the huge difference i would like to do one final test before we close the video so this this is the one bats are nocturnal 
bats might be but even for billionaire playboys three o'clock is pushing it so i'm going to copy this and copy the audio address come back to the google collab first delete the file in case you know um, if it is going to create any problem come back here paste it run this so this is going to download the file after it downloads i'm going to play it Oops, I, I think I have to run it. I'm sorry, that's my mistake. I, okay, let's do the transcription. Bats are not pernil instead of saying nocturnal, bats maybe, but even a billionaire's playboy, three o'clock is pushing him. Let's run this. English, that's your knock journal, <laughs> that's my bite. But even for a billionaire playboy where the clock is pushing me, you can see the difference in the quality of transcription, even for English, when you change um, different models. But the point here is not to pick on the models, but the point here is you always have to make this call the trade off between the size of the model, the performance in when, when I say performance, the speed of the models inference and also the error rate. So it's a call that you have to make, but it's my duty for, for me to tell you how the tiny model is performing versus how the large model is performing for the same audio clip. But if you just consider the medium model, which is not the largest model, this is the 769, 769 million parameter model. But even this model is quite amazing. It is not just simply amazing for the US accent, but you also saw that it was doing a good job for the UK accent, which is a British accent. And I myself have tested Indian accent with that. And then it has gone, uh, it has done a really good job even for Indian accent English, um, which is not something that I usually see with Google Assistant or Alexa or Siri. They usually struggle with Indian accent um, until, you know, it's, it's really customized for Indian market. But otherwise I usually see them struggling. But even then this complete, like the simple open source model, open AI whisper is doing really a great job. So in 2022, if you want to build a speech to text solution using Python, I think you should turn towards open AI whisper. It's completely open source. You can see all the details about, you know, what is the error rate for, sorry, what is the error rate for each language, uh, word error rate, W here. What is the difference between each model and what other things that you can do, for example, translation um, and multilingual translation and detection, language detection and all those things. And this, this, this particular project is aimed at somebody who doesn't know how to do speech to text. And uh, the point is in just literally like three lines of Python code, like if you literally see the code, you import, then you load the model and then you can just literally, you know, uh, transcribe and print the result. So basically in three lines of Python code, let me run this for you. So I'm going to say um, three, sorry, three lines of Python code for speech to text. Okay. So what am I going to do? I'm going to say import whisper. Cool. Then model is equal to whisper dot load underscore model and I can say medium here and then model dot transcribe of audio dot mp3 and then while I'm doing that I can print the text and when I run this it should oops there is load model I'm so sorry load model and while I'm running this, you can see at the end of this step, it is going to actually print the transcription of the audio. So in literally three lines of Python code, you can have a cutting edge state of the art speech to text model, a speech to text project in Python. And that is quite, quite, quite amazing. And um, I think uh, you should definitely check this out. And if you are a university student trying to do something in speech to text, this is quite multilingual. Even if you're not trying to do something for English, there are a lot, lot more languages. You can see all the languages here. So I come from India. All these Indian languages are there, which is quite not, uh, not, not common with other, other language models. So I would uh, strongly recommend you to check this out. Any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, 
see you in the next video happy coding